So welcome. Uh, we're having episode or part 11 of this whole uh, reflection from Boston thing going on here. And um, one of the last points we want to talk about is um, a team or a coach or, or whatever you want to refer to it. There's a lot of people backstage in Boston that has some some pretty you know famous, really high high end professionals uh, with them backstage, uh, which is amazing to see and, and, and meet these people. Um, in my in my own process, I haven't worked with a coach, um, and this that was the same for Brazil and it's the same for um, for Boston now as well. I obviously have my my team member Joe with me, which is. It's been unbelievably helpful and everything has been running super smooth and it's so important to have someone that can help you with with you know all the all the small stuff make sure you don't forget things um, and just help you prepare stuff so you can focus on what's really important it's, it's priceless to have that um, I think uh, apart from that the, the way I'm trying to work with it is to to have people in my network around me on a continuous basis that I know can help me and that I know are much better than what I am. One of those people uh, is, is Kapo Chu from Covering Room in Hong Kong. I ask him a lot of questions. He's been kind enough to watch my presentation uh, once before Brazil and then once before now as well. And he's the only guy I'm actually doing my presentation in front of before I compete. And that's, that's kind of priceless. Um, Apart from that, I think what's important is that, I mean, whoever you chose to bring, uh, whether you pay someone or not, it's, it's about having someone that knows what you do, knows who you are, knows how you react in competition situations, knows what you're looking for in the coffee. I wouldn't recommend having someone in just for the actual competition, which I got the feeling that, that some people did. Um, that seems to cause more confusion than anything else. I mean, you need to be secure in what you do. You need to believe in what you do. Um, so whoever you have, they should understand you from the beginning and they should have been with you before the competition as well. I think that would be a lot helpful for you. Um, do you need a coach? No, you don't need a coach. Um, do you need a coach? Yes, you need a coach. I mean, it depends on perspective. You need to learn from people that are better than you are. Um, in you know, whatever way you choose to do that, that's totally up to you. What I can say is... is uh, I mean, it happens in Boston now, it happened in a bunch of nationals, it happens almost every year, is that you get these few people that are, are clearly doing presentations that have already been done before. Um, and often that's related to them being coached by certain people. I don't think there's anything wrong with that, but I do believe that if you want to be in the very top, you need to find your own voice. You need to go down your own path. I'm not saying not don't work with these amazing, amazing people. I mean, the systems works and they've done extremely well in the past and that makes sense, but they've also did extremely well because they did their thing, right? Um, so I think that's a, that's a recommendation, right? As in, I mean, the judges, they've seen all of these presentations before. If, if they're gonna sit there and they judge someone that does exactly what someone has already done, don't expect that to be scored very high, right? Because then someone has already done it. So why would they score them high? So I would argue that, you know, f find your own voice in this and work with coaches that understands the, the importance of that. Um, works with team members that understand what you do, why you do it, and then just push for it, right? Sometimes it's, you know, you follow your path, you serve coffee, you want to serve, you need to stay behind that. Um, so to try to be honest to, to yourself in that, in that process, then it's up to you if you, again, if you work with coaches or not coaches. Um, at April, we have a pretty simple process where we, we, we do enjoy helping competitors, but we only help those that train with us. Um, meaning we don't just send random coffee to someone. Um, so it's, it's, it's an important process and it's a long-term process. The, the people I've been working with, I've been working with for two, three years um, in trying to help them do things, right? It's not that, okay, I helped you for one competition and it didn't, didn't go very well. I'm not gonna help you again. It's a, it's a process, right? We'll learn over time. Uh, so I look at all of this a lot more long-term, I think. Um, so, I mean, do you need do you need a coach? Well, I mean, that's up to you. It's up to you to, to be around who you ever want to be around. Um, you do need to get better. We all need to get better. I need to get better. Um, and we all have different processes to do that. Luckily, we're in a situation today where you can write most people uh, in this industry and they're going to give you an honest reply. So we're in a pretty cool situation in terms of being able to do things. Um, 
And I think for me, that was kind of the perspectives that I have on, on teams and coaches. So again, if you guys have any questions, just please write it down here. Um, we have one more video for you. So uh, have a bit more patience and, and then you finally finish all of this. <laughs> Thank you.